Yeah. I matched you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't keep up with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you didn't go to the bathroom. Do you want to win some cool Disney stuff like this? All you have to do is look for a hidden Mickey like this in today's video and comment the timestamp below, like the video, and subscribe, and of course, turn on post notifications. Winners will be picked every single Wednesday. Good luck. Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be taking you through what we ate at Disney Hollywood Studios. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We are starting the day at a popcorn cart, but Jasmine is not gonna get popcorn, right? Not yet? No. What's your, this is our first day. We haven't had Disney food in over a year. What yeah. are you going for? Well, I guess just a pretzel. That's all I ate. Mickey pretzel, really. a classic yeah. Mitzi. Mitzi. I, I don't. I want. Um, I don't think I can really eat. Like I, I feel like Magic Kingdom's gonna be better. I don't know what's here. I told you yesterday to look I online did. and find a bunch of treats, and we'll try them. All I kept seeing was the carrot cake cookie. Anyways, guys, let's have a great day, and also let us know what your favorite Disney treat is in the comments below. What is that? Popcorn That's a popcorn bucket? No way. All right, babe. First food of the day right here. If you guys want to make these at home, you can because D23 has shared the recipe for this and surprisingly, it asks for no yeast. They actually use pizza dough. It tastes as good as it last did last time you had one? What do you mean? Last time I had one, it had cream cheese in it. At Disneyland? Jalapeno. Oh fire. my god. I just had some and it's actually really good. This right here will save your life in the summertime, man. We live in Arizona, trust me. So we know a lot about it. Right there. I know, it's perfect. Yeah, it hits. I need to drink water with it. It takes the, it's the so sour, the tangy, helps your nauseousness. All right, guys, we're about to go to the Backlot Express, a warehouse of good eating. They got some Cuban sandwiches, burgers. I might go with the Cuban. Uh, Southwest salad, hummus plate, beer, wine, and cocktails. It's a cool little spot. I haven't ate here before. We are going into the shop. Oh, this is cool. It looks very... Um, what's the word? Quaint? Is that a good word to describe this? Like the airplane plane. Yeah. You good? It's now time for lunch, Jasmine. She basically got a Angus burger, a one-third pound Angus burger with a barbecue or full pork. pork. It's not a lot, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. That's also, what is that? What kind of cheese is that? Oh, I didn't even notice the cheese. Yeah, there's know. cheese in there. Got some pickles. Ellie, do you want a pickle? Oh, oh I'm sorry. You're You're trying so hard to make me cry. <laughs> 1,100 miles away. She don't even care. She's trying to hang up on me again. Look at that. Let's wow. See. Take a bite. You're not going to put any mayo, mustard? <laughs> so good. Revelation? Yeah, feed me though because I haven't sanitized my hands. Don't take like a ginormous bite. Jasmine. Oh my god. Yeah, easy, huh? You up. I messed up, dude, big time. I need to bring that. Oh my god. Bro, five out of five Mickey's. No, mine's uh, has chicken and chicken breast. Oh, I guess we're trying my food now. Rubens are fire. Yeah, so I got the Reuben. Let mm -hmm. me wash my hands real quick. Not as good as mine. Bro, that kills chicken guy. Oh yeah. That's five out of five right there. Wow, that combo and then you get the little pickle in it. You know what I'm excited for? Oh man. It's the barbecue spot at Animal Kingdom. Dude, no, that's amazing, bro. Wow, we should make that at home. Good thing you uh bought that for you? No. You told me that I had that in there because you know once you said pulled pork it's so Yeah, good. you didn't even let me finish. I was like pulled pork and you're like, yeah, that one. Wow. And then you get that pickled tang and I think that's what throws it over the top. Wow. I never thought about mixing that, dude. 
If you guys are wondering, that is the Backlot Burger. Price for that and fries is $13.99, which I think is a deal here. Pretty good deal. And then um, it doesn't come with napkins, so go grab some. <laughs> I have lunch in here. I'll go get them. This right here is a Cuban sandwich for $11.99. Man, dude, mine looks like cafeteria food compared to yours. It's not bad. No, it's good, and it has that cheese in there. I don't think the you got cheese. Is okay. It's the same cheese, I think. And French fries. Too bad here. No. I'm so disappointed that I didn't get that. This is good. Well, this is very, very good, but it's not yours. Not bad, though. It's missing like a dipping sauce or something, but it's, no, not ketchup. Honestly, if I would have rated it before yours, I would have gave it like a 3.8. But now it's like a one and a half. It's not that, it's not like that, that bad. Compared to yours, bro, if we're comparing, it's a big deal. Yeah. But this is good. This is actually really good. I just got a pickle. Very good. So this restaurant right here gives us a ton of Smoke Jumpers um, vibes that they have over there in California Adventures. It just feels really industrial, as you guys can see by the video. And I just love the feeling to it. And check this out. I'm going to come over here and walk over here. It looks like a steam engine or something like that. If you look up. And if you look up. It's like it collects it and shoots it up. And then if you come over here, it's the Backlot Express paint department. Look at this. They have a ton of cans of paint. And we've seen this when we first walked in. And then more seating up here. Before, you used to be able to sit. Like, they have it all sectioned off now. It's like a little bar area. But that is actually pretty cool. We got some wheelbarrows, some hoses, and look at this. They got a traffic light right there. I don't know. I love the vibe of this a lot. I definitely come back here, dude. This is awesome. I love this too. So after doing some research, I found that the Backlot Express is themed as a production warehouse and is therefore positively packed with unique props, paints, and more. Some of the props were actually used in movies and it's located right by Echo Lake in between Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular and Star Tours. I truly believe this is the best place to eat at when you're on a budget and the food is amazing. Jasmine, I'm so full, dude. I can't finish it. I, I'm full, but I'm not gonna waste money like that. That's why I married you. I've been practicing this for weeks without telling you, but I can actually sing the Runaway Railway song and sound just like I'm ready. Uh, nothing can stop us now. No, you did too much. Uh, okay. Yeah. Nothing can stop us now. I did it again. <laughs> nothing can stop us now. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 I'm so tired. I also forgot to mention they carry a lot of Star Wars themed food in there. <laughs> Alright guys, it is time to get some coffee. Jasmine's feeling kind of tired, so we came to Joffrey's. It's the first time we've ever came here and Jasmine has picked out something so good to try. Check it out. What'd you get? That. Oh. Fairy tale love latte. 5.69. Espresso milk, dark chocolate sauce, and caramel and coconut syrup. Hot or iced? Iced. Um, let me get the umbrella. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. That looks pretty good. Yeah, you want to try it? Uh, you can. You're going to try it. I'll try it. Is it good? It just needs to be um, a little colder. Oh, so after it sits a little while? Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Coffee. Mm. I can taste the coconut a lot, actually. Oh, you can't. Yeah, I really can. Weird, I can't. I don't know how I feel about that. It's good, but it tastes like a normal coffee. I need to mix the whipped cream. Can you hold this? The whipped cream will make it sweeter. And creamier. It tastes almost the same, just a little. Stop, you look like a <laughs> camel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a lot better. Because there's more sweet in there and less bitter. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It tastes like a Starbucks. I thought they would have more of a... Variety? Yeah, maybe they do have like a different... This is just like a little one. We got finished with the day at Hollywood Studios and we thought we could just take a bus to Disney Springs for our dinner reservations. However, that's not the case. So we're hoping to do something we've never done before and that is 
take a bus over to Old Key West and from Old Key West take a boat to Disney Springs. So we're gonna see how this works. We don't know. We're cutting our reservation super close. One of the biggest things that we don't like is that there is no buses that go from the parks to Disney Springs. You must take transportation to a resort and then a bus to Disney Springs. Got two. Number one. Thank you. Well, guys, we did not take a boat, but um, we're at Saratoga Springs. Earlier, I said something else. I think I said Old Key West. But um, basically, we're just taking the path. It's a 10 minute walk. And uh, it's beautiful, though. It's like, it's weird. There's this side of Disney. And there's like the children's side of Disney that we always stay at because it's cheaper, first off, and we're yeah. never at the place. But like, I kind of like the children's part of Disney because it feels like Disney. This just feels like a hotel over yeah, here. Yeah, it does. The only cool thing about this would have been like, we're so close to Disney Springs, you know? Yeah, but like, it's like right there. Like, look at that. Right across the water. I bet you that water is like ice cold. I'll give you $100 to get in it. No, because you, you owe me $100. Do you see that sign? Danger, alligators and snakes in the area. Low key, it would be cool to see an alligator. It'd be cool, but scary. So there's the boathouse restaurant right there. There was reservations, was but we could have went there for today, huh? Yeah. Or am I the only one looking into people's rooms? Oh, he's watching Shark Tank. Is that what? Well, that's a house. No, that's a like a loft. Wow. Yeah, they have villas and why stuff, bro. Why don't we bro. stay here? Was it cheaper? No. That's why. <laughs> that's exactly why we didn't stay here. It was a much, much more. That's what it is. It's pretty, huh? Is that the springs? Is this why it's called Disney Springs? Because of those? Jasmine's about to lose it if we don't have enough. I cannot wait for him to stop us. Let's see it. Two? You're gonna be on the other side. Oh my god. Thank you. And that should be it. Oh, we were the last ones on, dude. This is very odd, guys. So we're almost back to the hotel. It's what? 10? What? Oh, Jasmine. Okay, it's 1120. I thought it was 10. I don't know why, but it is dead out here, dude. It's just us and Jasmine's smell. Yeah, look at how crazy the pool is. Look at they drained it. It's so crazy to think that we're, this is our life. Okay. <laughs> like, like Corona, wearing masks at the park. And, well, there's nobody out here, I just took my mask off. Yeah, like, like being worried, like, man, I hope I don't get the Corona because there was a hell of people at the park today. Because I have kids. It's just crazy. It's crazy that the thing, like, well, last time we came, we could go in the store, we could eat, take to our room. Yeah, it's so different, man. Look at this. It's just dead out here. Now we just have that. I matched you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't keep up with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he didn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we got to come get pictures, babe, at these different spots. We're not going to be able to do that until like the day we leave. Look, really hope we brought some Disney magic into your guys' homes. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up as well as check out our Instagram because guess what, guys? We are at Touch of Disney while you guys are watching this. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We will see you guys on the next adventure. Have a magical day, everybody.